Australian actor John Jarrett wants to see our legal system changed after enduring a long wait to clear his name. He, of course, was found not guilty of rape. The award-winning actor details his story behind the headlines in his new book, Assault by Media. From cult classics... You never know where I might pop up. ..to memorable movies... And look at his knees. ..to the small screen. Now, I think the barbecue should go right there where you're standing. John Jarrett is one of Australia's most popular personalities. But in 2017, his reputation was shattered when a former housemate accused him of rape in a house they shared more than 40 years earlier. In July 2019, Jarrett went to trial. The jury took just 15 minutes to find him not guilty of the alleged crime. Now he's telling his side of the story and the far-reaching ramifications it's had on his family and career in his new book, Assault by Media. John, I can't even begin to imagine the emotional roller coaster and the hurt you and your family have experienced over the past few years. Can you take me back to the very beginning? Where were you when you found out and how did you find out about the accusation? I was having coffee with my daughter, Zadia, who's also my manager, and I received a phone call from my then agent. It sounded serious, so I went and found a quiet spot. I was told uh, I was going to be on the front page of newspapers nationally. Uh, and that a woman had accused me of raping her 42 years ago. And did I have a comment on whether I'd raped her or not? And I said, yeah, my comment is no. Couldn't talk anymore. I just stood there for quite a long time. And um, it was um, horrific. So run me through the past few years. How have they been, not just for you, but also for your family? Well, it's uh, like Groundhog Day. Um, uh, I call it media death row, is what I called it. It wasn't so bad when I was just an alleged rapist, but when I was charged for rape in August, um, it became extremely bad because the goggle box jury, as I call it, said, oh, he's been charged, so there must be something in it. Occasionally, I was, I was called a filthy pig and a few other things in public, so I tended to go hide in my house. I was unemployed from August 2017 till now. I wrote a couple of movie scripts to kill the time, and they're good. <laughs> and, um, and, and I started writing this book. And what do you hope to achieve with this book? I want to change something, and it's really, really simple. I should get a suppression order from the get-go in a he-said-she-said situation where there's little or no evidence, and the media should not be able to write scurrilous things about me for 20 months, I was hung out to dry because she's the alleged victim and I'm the alleged perpetrator. They shouldn't be calling me that either. They should call her the accuser and me the accused. That is why I wrote the book. That has got to change. It sort of seems like common sense that both names should be suppressed. It is. It's yeah. common sense to my 13-year-old son, mm. but it's not common sense to the lawmakers or the, or the police. You mentioned that over the past few years you've been working on some scripts. Where are you at now with your career? I'm about to do a rom-com uh, feature film just being shot in Cronulla. So I've got my first job since 2017. And I'm doing my own film uh, called What About Sal? And uh, it, it stars um, Jared O'Dwyer, a Down Syndrome guy. Uh, wonderful actor. I've written it, I'm going to direct it, I'm going to act in it. And Jared's playing the lead. And we're ready to rock and roll. And uh, we're also chasing uh, GoFundMe money. So it's gofundme.com slash whataboutsal and you could put $2 in or you can put $200,000 in. Does that excite you to be doing what you love again? Yes, yes, and uh, I fully intend to do it. John Jarrett's new book, Assault by Media, is available now. Samantha Dawson, Sky News.